Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do my first review on this channel ever, so wish me luck. And the review will be of the book Station Eleven by Emily St. Joan Mandel. I was recommended this from my cousin and I've seen it around booktube later on and I really want to read it and it was on my top 16 books to read in 2016 and I ended up reading it now in January, in January and I really really enjoyed it. Station Eleven is a science fiction novel. The story is set 20 years after the apocalypse or the collapse as they call it. We follow a multitude of people. I don't know if, if I could say what one person was the main character in this one because everyone has their own story to tell. But I think I would say Arthur Leander. Uh, he's an actor that in the first chapter dies on stage. And we follow a lot of characters after this, after the collapse. and But all of them have this like connection to Arthur from their previous lives. We follow Arthur's best and oldest friend, we follow one of his ex-wives, we partly follow his son, we follow an, a child actress that was on stage the night he died, we follow um, a paramedic that uh, tried to save him while on stage. Also, we, doesn't, we don't just follow like what is happening now uh, in this book's when, we are also following what happened in the past. Like, we see how Arthur got to be on that stage as he was. We follow him from the morning he woke up until the moment he died that day. And we get a big look into, like, humans, human life, really, and what drives humans as well. And that is one of the strongest points in this book throughout. If the world ended, what would you preserve? What would you want the next world to be like? I really like post-apocalyptic books uh, and this one was not a disappointment. The humanity of the characters, what they thought, what they went through. Sometimes I just had to put the book down because I needed to take a break from it because this is moments, thoughts, stuff was just that strong. And the writing style also complemented this really good. My biggest problem was, as I said, that we follow a lot of different characters and that kind of confused me in the beginning. I got used to it after a while and I also got used to the jumping back and forth of the story. But in the start I, it was really confusing. I had no control whatsoever of what was going on. And because I thought this would be like just a regular survival story. But it had some contemporary aspects to it and just life really. <laughs> but the writing is fairly easy although it's kind of dense. It doesn't have like that it's kind of rough to read, so I wouldn't recommend it to people that haven't read that much English to begin with. But if you haven't read it, I really recommend that you do, because it, it both the fact that it's a, it's a post-apocalyptic science fiction that is really interesting, and the fact that it has some contemporary aspects to it, but it also takes this big look at humanity, humanity and what is important for us as individual persons, and how we handle crisis differently and stuff like that. It's really, it's a really interesting read. I ended up giving it 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. The last 0.5 points was removed because of the confusion in the beginning. And, but I really enjoy it and I will really recommend it and so far it's the best book I've read this year. So yeah, that's my first review on this channel ever. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it and what I may do differently later on. Any tips, I really appreciate them. I'm sorry if this video got a bit jumbled because the puppy, as I said, we were out playing in the snow for sitting down to film this and she got really overexcited and ran around and drag things down on the floor from places she shouldn't be so I have to get up and run around as well. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye!